This is Extra Paycheck Podcast, episode number 151. You're listening to Extra Paycheck Podcast, where you will learn how to build and grow your own successful online business. Now, here's your host, Alex Soul. Welcome to yet another episode of the Extra Paycheck Podcast. This is episode number 151, and today we will be talking about the best platform for your online business, for your blog, for your website. I chose this very specific topic because quite often people ask me, uh, should I use WordPress? Should I use Squarespace? Uh, why shouldn't I build my own website from scratch? And questions of this sort. And I'm hoping that today's episode will clear things up for you and will help you to get past that stage where you're simply stuck trying to decide the best website platform for your online business. And once you know the answer to that question, you'll be able to simply move on and actually start building your business instead of asking yourselves questions that I think shouldn't matter. So first of all, there are many, many, many different ways to build your own website and have it available online for everyone in the world to see. Back in the old days, most people used to create websites from scratch using HTML or some other kinds of codes, but those days are way behind us and you do not need to do that anymore. There are many reasons why you shouldn't do that anymore. First of all, creating a website from scratch is like reinventing a wheel. Why would you do that when there are much better solutions available? Second of all, it'll take a lot of time, it'll take a lot of money if you can't do it yourself. And the third reason is that creating something like that from scratch is simply way too complicated and you can't come up with every single technology and line of code and all those things that have been invented and tested for years and years. And I'm happy to see that a lot of people understand that and they do not want to build a website completely from scratch. They don't want to code everything, but they still uh, try to figure out if they should use WordPress or Joomla or Squarespace or Wix because everybody from around them tells them a different story. Some people will tell you that WordPress is the worst while Squarespace is the best. Other people will tell you otherwise, and I'm, of course, one of those people that will tell you otherwise. I've tried many different platforms in the past, and I'm a big fan of WordPress. That's the one that's stuck, and that's the one that I think deserves the most attention, and I think that's the best platform there is. Now, I want to throw in a few facts to kind of help you realize what WordPress is and how many people use it. Normally, website platforms divide on two different camps, uh, CMS or something else like HTML. So CMS basically means content management system. These are um, not a simple websites. They have databases and have a few other things inbuilt in them, but you don't have to worry about any of that because it's all inbuilt within your WordPress or Joomla or Drupal or Squarespace. A lot of them use a very similar uh, idea of CMS. Now, more than half of the world websites are using a CMS of some sort and not a simple HTML or something like that. WordPress is actually powering almost 30% of all websites worldwide, and it uses more than 60% of all CMS market. So more than 60% of websites that run on a CMS, they run on WordPress. The second big CMS that comes to WordPress is Joomla, and they are only running 3% of all websites online. Drupal is at 2.2%, Squarespace at 0.8%, and Wix at 0.5%. Once again, think about it. Wix is at 0.5% and WordPress is at 60 plus percent, meaning that WordPress is very, very popular and is the most used CMS. And it's actually the most used platform to create a website or a blog or an online store in general. And there is a reason for it. People don't simply go for WordPress because it's WordPress. They go for it because it's easy, because there's a lot of support, because it's more secure and simply better than any other platform out there. Now, let's look a bit further into WordPress and why you should be going with them. First of all, WordPress is very versatile, highly customizable, and it has great flexibility. A WordPress doesn't have to be just a blog in the original sense of it when it would look like an online journal of someone writing down their thoughts and ideas. A WordPress installation could be a full-on e-commerce platform. A WordPress installation could be a legit 
website. As I said, it doesn't have to be just a small blog anymore. It could be pretty much anything you could imagine it to be. It's that versatile and it's that flexible. When it comes to WordPress, there are hundreds of thousands of themes available for that installation. And most of them are free. However, you could find some premium themes that you have to pay for. And I personally prefer paying for my themes because they are more flexible and they're more secure. And I simply like the customization part a lot more in a premium theme. There are a few other things and I'm gonna mention them. But yeah, that's my main point here. WordPress has thousands of people creating themes for that platform, which means that you could make your website look very, very unique without learning how to design or without hiring a designer. Personally, I use Divi by Elegant Themes, and I've mentioned that throughout my blog and through many different uh, podcast episodes, because Divi, in my opinion, is one of the best themes you could ever find for a WordPress website or blog or online shop. Divi is a very, very, very customizable, and unlike many other themes where you know you might be able to change a few colors and maybe a few other things with dv you could make your website look completely unique and no one will ever even guess that you're using dv dv will help you create a very original looking website once again without hiring designers or programmers or coders it's one of the best themes if not the best one out there and this is why i highly recommend using dv when it comes to wordpress when it comes to Joomla or Drupal or Squarespace, you will be very, very limited to the look of your website compared to WordPress because there are only a few themes available when you look at the number of themes that are available for WordPress. The same thing goes for functionality. Functionality in WordPress is simply amazing. If you need to add something to your website, some kind of a feature or anything else really, there is most likely a plugin for that that will do whatever you want it to do. At this point, there are over 50,000 active plugins for WordPress. And if, once again, you compare it to other uh, CMS systems, which have you know a few dozen plugins and best, WordPress has most of them. And there really is no limit to what your website can do. And once again, you do not need to hire a coder and you do not need to code anything by yourself because you could simply click on that install plugin and be done with that. The reason why there are so many different themes and plugins for WordPress is simply because WordPress is open source, meaning that any designer, any coder, any creator has full access to WordPress and they could program whatever they want for it. While many other platforms, they try to keep their CMS kind of secret and they don't let anyone know how it works, how to modify it, how to add something to it. WordPress went a completely different way. They're very open, they're very transparent about it. And this is why they gained a following of millions and millions of people who are working as volunteers every single day and they're trying to make WordPress WordPress better, faster, more flexible, and simply number one when it comes to websites. Compared to other platforms, WordPress is also very SEO friendly. When it comes to search engine optimization, WordPress is the most friendly platform for search engines. And if you throw in a plugin such as Yoast or all-in-one SEO and change a few settings and adjust it to your website, you wouldn't have to worry about a big part of your SEO strategy when it comes to uh, internal SEO, when it comes to your own website. And this is explained by the structure of WordPress itself. When people build WordPress, when people improve WordPress, they pay attention to what the search engines want. They pay attention to what Google looks in a structure of a website and they apply all that information into the core of WordPress. And this is why simply by using WordPress, you are already a step ahead of all the other platforms when it comes to search engine optimization. Another great reason to use WordPress is the fact that it supports many, many, many third-party tools. If you want to do email marketing and you're using MailChimp or Aweber or pretty much any other company, they easily integrate with WordPress. The same comes with e-commerce platforms such as WooCommerce and many other tools. These tools make sure that they're compatible with WordPress and WordPress makes sure it's compatible with these tools. Once again, if you look at other platforms such as Wix or Squarespace or Joomla, you will be much more limited when it comes to third-party tools and a lot of 
developers simply wouldn't work with those smaller platforms because they don't think it's worth their time or their effort. Now, if you are using a third-party tool that's not compatible with WordPress, I can assure you that it's not compatible with any other platform at all. The cool thing is though, if you do find a tool that's not compatible with WordPress, you can head over to WordPress support community and suggest that they look into this tool or suggest that they uh, look into integrating that tool into WordPress and making it all work together. Because WordPress has one of the biggest communities when it comes to support. There are quite a few amazing and really big and very active Facebook groups where people discuss all things WordPress, where you could ask for help of any kind, and people are often really happy and excited to help you uh, solving a problem or modifying something within your website to make it the way you want to make it. And it doesn't have to be just the core WordPress. Whenever you're using a theme or a plugin, there's usually a community behind it and people willing to help you fix a problem if there is one. The same applies to Elegant themes. When I first signed up to get the DV theme and maybe a few other themes that I've been experiencing with back in the day, what I love the most about them is that they had this amazing forum with really awesome people that always helped me modify something, adjust something, Thing or fix a problem if I ever created one. So that always came in handy and I'm really happy that I'm often able to find help whenever I need it, especially when it comes to WordPress. To sum up this episode, stop breaking your head about the platform that you want to use for your online business, the platform you want to use for your website. Simply go with WordPress. It's the most popular, it's the biggest one, and it has the best support you could possibly find. If you have any questions about WordPress or anything related to online marketing, internet business, simply head over to extrapodcast.com slash 151. This is where I'll be putting up show notes page and this is where you could leave your questions and your comments. Also head over to extrapodcast.com slash iTunes in order to subscribe to the show on iTunes as well as extrapodcast.com slash Spotify in order to follow the show on Spotify. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you next Monday.